Hi friends, this is Audi One and you are watching part 18 of the SQL Lab series. In today's video, we are going to discuss some blacklist filters and we will try to bypass those filters. For people who are watching this video for the first time, it is strongly recommended that you go back and watch the other part of the series. We would be using the knowledge gained in those and reference them in the set different sections here. For this lessons, I have updated the GitHub repository. You can download the new zip file, extract the contents and work with them. Or you can use the pull request and merge the changes. I am also working on building a second page to incorporate all the new lessons. The last lesson 24, the second order injections that were covered in lesson 17, the video 17 and continuing we have blacklist filters starting up where we start with filtering of OR and AND would be in error based and then we continue with 25A which would be a kind of a blind. Same way 26 would include bypassing spaces and comments including the OR and 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 26A would be again the blind. Then 27 we will continue to put some other parameters like union and select keywords and then we'll try different variations in the other lessons and from lesson 29 and above we'll be progressing and we'll be adding those in as we continue well there have been a lot of blogs and a lot of genius people who have really dug in in MySQL trying to figure out the flexible way how MySQL works and how they can mold the queries to get the maximum out of it. The SQL map people, kudos to the SQL map team. It's an awesome tool that they have built up and the kind of research that they have put behind the scene. Let's start on this one. We have lesson 25. We put in id equals 1. One more thing. I have updated the table users with some new data. So please purge the old database and refresh it. If you see now the database would have 14 entries rather than previous 8 and let's continue to understand the application so id equal 1 gives us something like login name dump password dump id equals 14 the last entry we have that let's try 15 it does not work so the application is almost identical as it was in lesson 1. The only difference being that we are now displaying a hint section below. Well this is actually displaying the string after it has been filtered. So making it easy for us to understand what is going on. Let's try to fuzz it simply by adding an apostrophe and we have a break in the query. Let's copy this onto clipboard real quick. And let's double check with a slash, a backslash. So we see that there is an apostrophe being quoted around the variable. 
So if we try to write the pseudo query, it will become something like select star from table where id equals and now come the single quotes which enclose our parameter id and it limits so let's try to escape okay this was the one we said one apostrophe so it looks okay for this part and let's comment out the rest of the query by giving comments and the query gets fixed if you see below we bypassed the filter well actually we did not use the keyword which is being filtered if you see all your or and and belong to us so let's see if this works we have the left side of the injection the right side of the injection so anything we inject in between should be executable let's use or one equals one well instead of working we get an error message here and if you see the screen below though we entered or the or is getting filtered let's try to change the case or mix the case still the same let's try to do the other way around all lowercase does not work or let's say does not work let's quote around with an inline comment and let's see if it is able to bypass that no luck so if we have to execute a query having an or how can we do it Well, in programming, another way of representing an OR, a logical OR, is by using a double pipe. So, if we use a double pipe, then programmatically, this should be equivalent to OR. Let's try this. 1 equals 1, hyphen, hyphen, and a post route. And bingo, it works. A question in mind did it really work well let's verify that let's try to put the same way a logical and and we can use a double ampersand to represent the and But rather than working, we see that nothing appears on screen and we have an error message. Can someone think why this error message came up? And below we see that our ampersands are not passed through. Well, as this is a get kind of request and we are injecting the parameter in the get statement or in the URL, we have to take into account the URL encoding. So for that sake, let's open up our friend Google and let's type in URL encoder and we get URL encoder decoder and let's try to just punch this string in. It looks something cryptic. Well, percent 20 is for space. So let's rather not doing the complete string. Let's just do the ampersand sign. So 
So ampersand represents percent 26 with the URL encoding. So let's come back and try that out here. Percent 26, percent 26, and it works. But again, the question has it really worked to validate that that we are able to execute part of data as code? We can just change one equals zero, which should be a false statement. Thereby, nothing should be displayed on screen. Let's check. And yeah, we see that as soon as the complete statement becomes false, nothing is being displayed on the screen. So effectively, by using the double pipe as an or or a double ampersand as an and, we are able to bypass specific blacklist filters. We are what are just looking for those keywords or or and. Now let's continue and let's check lesson 25 a in this case and we see that the it looks the similar kind of application as previous id equals 1 and the behavior would be almost same 14 and let's try to break the query same way with a single apostrophe. Nothing worked. It didn't display anything to us. No error message, nothing. Let's try to put a double quotes on. Again, no result. So this is more or typically a kind of a blind injection where the MySQL errors are not being displayed if the page is vulnerable. Because this is a test environment, so we are sure that the page is 100% vulnerable. So we have to somehow fix the query blindly. Let's try out. We know that we can comment the query out like hyphen hyphen and a plus to comment out. So we have to balance somehow in between this. This works because we didn't use any kind of quotes or something. It did not work. So let's try the experience we gained. So you saw what happened when we are evaluating a logical and and we say id equals 1 and 1 it gives us some response but as soon as we say and 0 that should be a non-existent we get nothing output that means that lesson 25a is a numeric form of injection where we do not need any kind of an apostrophe maybe a single quotes or maybe a double to break away from
from the string this is entirely numeric or integer type so anything we type in can be interpreted as the code and let's try something else order by 3 if you remember from the previous lessons order by 3 didn't work order by 2 also did not work order by 1 also did not work now what to do well if somehow the order by is not working we can still brute the number of columns being used in the query union select 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 did not work it worked that means that our query at the back end is having exactly three columns by the way we are filtering only on the or and and statement so why did order by not work in this case well if you think logically let me type it here As the developer of the application is doing a blacklist and it's checking for the keyword or howsoever it comes in the query so as soon as there's an or coming in the filter is triggered and this is being stripped out thereby order by is not working So now we continue and we say id equals some value union select 1 2 3 but this is displaying the logical values the values returned by the database let's nullify the first part with some uh, fictitious value let's say 100 and we get the value 2 and 3 being dumped on the screen and let's call it database And let's use third for version so our database name is security that we already know and our version is mysql version 5.1 well this is all for now for this lesson we'll continue further and take this in the coming up lessons thank you for watching I would strongly request that please leave a feedback. The feedback helps me motivate and make more videos and improve them. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.